We left Cortez, Colorado, which was our last location, and we drove 115 miles to Moab, Utah. Yeah, Moab was so cool. Yeah, we one of our favorite locations. Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely, I think, one of the most fun-filled. Yeah. We stayed at a place called Portal RV Resort. Yeah, it was an interesting setup there. It was different than any place we've ever stayed before because it had like condos in the middle of stuff. Yeah, so the first half that you drive through is the campground and it's a little less fancy, I guess mm -hmm. you can say, with gravel sites, but still have a nice cement block that you can have a picnic table and stuff like that and still fairly spacious sites and then the back half are all owned sites i and, guess considered the resort side yeah and there are townhouses there too it was interesting and we weren't sure when we were checking in if we were going to like our site because it was a long driveway in between two townhouses we talked to the people in the townhouse next to us and they owned that rv site and of course mm -hmm. you know you can either use it yourself or rent it out which of course is what they did. Yeah, and it was huge. Ours had a nice pergola, so it gave the patio some shade. Pergola, that's what it's called? Pergola? That's what it's called. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. <laughs> the resort side of this park had its own pool and its own dog park, and it was landscaped beautifully. There is another pool on the campground side that's connected to the office where you check in, Ooh. and another dog park. So there's a lot of amenities there. And our location was cool because behind our RV was this huge field with mm -hmm. horses. Yeah, huge field followed by some mountains in the background. Yeah. One of the cool things about this park is it's only about a mile into downtown Moab and four miles from the entrance to Arches National yes. Park. Awesome, awesome location. Mm -hmm. We're right outside of Arches National Park and it's after work and we thought, let's just go check it out. Check out this Arches thing. Yeah. The ride going in there is just amazing. The entire ride is amazing. Oh yeah, and there's one main road from the entrance to the end of the park, which ends and loops around at the Devil's Garden area. Our intentions were to just ride that road, loop around, right. and go back out. We weren't going to get off the bike and hike around on that day. We just wanted to get a feel of the lay of the land and yes. stuff.
Well, you can really probably maybe see a dozen or so from the road. There's over 2,000 arches. Well, Utah just was unbelievable with how beautiful it was and how diverse it was. We couldn't wait to go back. If you're interested in camping inside the park, there is a campground way at the far end. Yeah, Devil's, <laughs> Devil's Garden Campground. And the sites are $25 a night, and there are 50 sites in the campground. We've heard that traffic congestion getting in and out of the park can be really high between March and October. Yeah. And we did, while driving by it a few times, see some lines to get in. But every time we went was in the evening. And that's the way to go, That's the way guys. to go. A, it's cooler. B, the light is better for pictures and Instagram, crap like that. Yeah. <laughs> and C, it's less crowded. So we just did the loop at Devil's Garden and went back down the same road and went home. But it's always a different perspective going the opposite direction on the road that you just rode on. Oh yeah. And so it was still gorgeous going the other way. Fantastic. Fantastical. <laughs> So this was a work week for us, so we didn't get to do a whole lot else that week. One night after work, I didn't want to make any dinner, so we went to Moab Brewery to check it out. I don't know what's on your mind, but I know that it's something about you and me. It was an interesting place. Yeah, it was a little touristy, but the food was decent. Yeah, I mean, it, Moab is a very touristy city, so yeah, what true. are you going to do? But the food was good. It was pretty busy in there. I ate spinach salad so I could have this. I ate a burger. What is that? Is that a big old doggy? Look at one of them running out there. It's okay, puppy dog. It's okay. Daisy's first shot at the goggles. The doggles. Daisy. See, now it looks just like you're looking at the camera. This is new. Yeah, first time. Daisy's Here's coming. It. Daisy's coming with us. Look at her doggles. It's kind of hard to look like a badass with these two and two, you know what I mean? Two? Why are you including me? <laughs> well, because you got her on you. That's true. <laughs> so we're just going to take a shorter ride to Can Canyonlands National Park from mm -hmm. Moab. It's about 35 minutes to get to the park, and we'll see how she does. You ready to go on a she's motorcycle, She's doing pretty good Daisy? so far, so knock on wood. She's just, she's just happy to be with us. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Look at her, she's looking around. She loves it.
we pulled into this gas station that was right at the entrance of Archview RV Resort. So it was kind of a cool looking little yeah. facility there. But we filled up and then we went down 313, which is the road that takes us into Canyonlands. I wouldn't let you down, I'm gonna go all out for you. I'm gonna give, yeah. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give yeah. you all I got. Yeah. Daisy. I can't tell if she liked it or was completely terrified on her first motorcycle ride. I think she really liked it when we were going about 35 miles an hour. Mm, true. But when we got on the highway, I didn't think she liked it. And I think she would have been okay, but I think Tara was a little more stressed than Daisy. Well, but here's <laughs> the thing. She would tuck her whole body under to protect herself from the wind. Was she, was she doing that with her wind. paws? Yes. <laughs> no. But she would talk, she would she would crouch into the bag and kind of hide and I could just tell it wasn't comfortable for her and she didn't really like it like that. Yeah. We I haven't got, done a lot more rides with Daisy just I worry about my puppy dog. I can't help it. You guys remember our friends Eva and Dan from our Mesa Verde video? Oh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> and we're doing the side by side, and they're doing their what? What do you call them? Motorcycle, dirt, bike. dirt bikes. Yes. We're just gonna hit some trails and see how we do today. We hear Moab's the place to do this, so we're doing it. Um, when we picked this thing up and we drove it back to the RV park, it's freezing. Yeah. So cold. So I've got like five layers on. I'm sure I'll be shedding them soon. We're just going to go up to, what is this park called? Fins and things? No, there's a main park. I don't know. Sand Flats. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Sand Flats. our four-seater 4x4 Razor from Moab side-by-side -side rentals. Side-by-side -side rentals. Yeah, Jason <laughs> is the owner and was super friendly. Mm -hmm. The thing is, we loved it, but it's expensive. Yeah, but I think worth it. Don't be deceived by the name Sand Flats Recreation Center. Yeah. It's anything but flat. Yeah. A lot of sand, but it's anything but flat. And it was so much fun. It was so much fun, but sometimes it was super scary for me. All the paths are pretty well marked and you can kind of see on the rocks where others have gone mm -hmm. from the tire marks and stuff. Yeah, this is so scary. Awesome. I've had nightmares like this. <laughs>
the second one we did, what was, do you remember the name of it? <laughs> Hell's Revenge. Yeah, Hell's Revenge. Oh, we quickly know? found out why it was called that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that's just a drop off. Man, right over there. I don't think he should do this. He's got such a big grin on his face right now. I call this. Listen to Dan, please. This is a straight drop. This one? Yeah. This makes me nervous. Good job, babe. Okay, now he's gonna show. Now he's gonna show off. Cause I'm not in it. Are you, when you're not in it. Yeah. <laughs> you can do that. You can do that. I don't care. Are you having fun? I'm, this is a freaking blast. <laughs> that particular Hell's Revenge trail ends down over the Colorado River so you can stop there and get out and yeah. walk around. There's a river view overlook mm -hmm. that we got out, stretched our legs and took and some pictures. Yeah and while we were there we were looking down on a road that ran parallel to the river. We said we gotta go find that, yeah. which we do later. We had a blast. We are so glad that Dan and Eva came to do these trails with us. It just made it even more fun mm -hmm. and I yeah. can't wait to do it again. for like the last, the last like quarter miles when we left the river overlook, that whole stretch of the was a little tough for me. Cause it was so, cause it was so bumpy. But you I not, really like it. You and Daisy got along just fine. They did. They're all wow. in one piece and everybody's happy.
we finally are coming down to Moab to just walk around, check out the shops and the restaurants. We waited. We waited till the one day it looks like it might rain. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's just how we roll. That's how we do things. It's a little bit cooler that way. Yeah, it's actually really nice out. There's the food truck park here, but I I think I want to go somewhere and sit down and eat. Yeah. And we don't know where we're going to end up yet, so we're just going to walk around and find out. I'm sure wherever we pick will be expensive because it's a very touristy city. Yeah. So. In the white you shine In black God these To set your heart on fire We did go into Moab a couple of times to grab a bite to eat mm -hmm. and walk around. There were actually a lot of restaurant options to choose from and we weren't really sure which one we wanted to go to so we chose a place called The Spoke and it was a really neat place. We mm -hmm. sat outside, they have a nice covered patio. You like it? It's delicious. I know. We did make it back into Arches in the evening for some really cool sunset pictures, and it was just beautiful. Oh, awesome. We got to hike to some of the Arches. All the best things that I've seen And all the most wonderful views All the best sights that I see I see with you balanced rock right there oh. behind us. That is pretty cool. You can yeah. see the moon. Pro tip, come here after, what, what time is it now, almost seven? I bet it's pretty close. It's probably close to seven. When we came here on the bike, it was in the evening and it was really not a lot of people here either. So just like tonight. So I would say if you want to get good pictures and you really want to see it, come in the evening. And when we came through, there was Nobody, nobody checking passes nobody checking or anything. Passes Just come or right taking in. money, so come in the evening. Yeah. All the best streets I drove down, all the towns I've wandered through, all the best ones are all better than you. First, we went to the Balanced Rock, which was pretty cool, and it was neat because the moon was right behind it. And then we kept driving, and we went to the windows section, mm -hmm. which is the north window, the south window, the turret window, and the double arch. This is pretty cool so far. Yeah. And it's definitely a lot nicer in the evening than it was even an hour ago. Even an hour ago, yeah. yeah it's cooled off it was great. a lot. So we're going up there. It's a window window arch. Well, we're in, this area is called the windows, and there's and the windows the north, to the walls. Arch, south, and turret arch. Double arch is back there somewhere. Yeah, right there. Right there. Right there. Like I said, so far, the walks to get to these places aren't too bad. I mean, that one's still kind of a hike to get all the way up there. Yeah, it'll be cool up there, though. But you can see the arches without having to walk all the way up there if you don't want to. That thing there, pretty that's cool. That's an arch. Yeah, that's definitely an arch. Yeah, I, I think it's the north window or the south window. Or it's a window, window arch. There's the turret arches right there, see, right, right there. 
The only thing that's not pleasant is the bugs. Oh, gnats. Yeah, but no, they're, they're biting me, so I think I don't think gnats bite. I don't know. They're not biting me. Well, shocker. <laughs> they always come to me. And then we walked over to the double arch. That knocked our socks off. And that one is so, it's really massive. high up and mm -hmm. it's massive. And then there's two of them together. It's just, just amazing. There are numerous hiking trails throughout the Arches National Park. We didn't do any of those, unfortunately. And I think that they are supposed to be amazing. And I would love to go back to do some of those hikes. Yeah, and we gotta save some stuff for next time. That's right. Hello, love. Hello. This is double arch, oh, as yeah. you can tell by the double arches. Not to be confused with the golden arches. Yeah, that is just so amazing. Amazing. It's just huge. It's just amazing. We drove around as we wanted to get over behind the balanced rock for some sunset photos so we'd be positioned behind it. That particular balanced rock is really cool, but there are balanced rocks kind of all over yeah. the place there mm -hmm. where it's, you look at it and you're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it looks fake. Yeah, and it was an incredible sunset that night. There were a lot of really nice sunsets when we were there. Mm, this one gorgeous. was, the sky was on fire. Overall, I think Arches National Park gets a nine and a half. Yeah. And we only because we're saving 10 for Glacier. Yeah. <laughs> because Glacier will 10 soon. coming up. So remember that road that we mentioned we saw when we were up in Sand Flats? Up looking at the down? top of Hell's Revenge? Yeah. yeah. It was Route 128. Mm -hmm. And it turns out the turnoff to get there from 191 where we were staying was only like two miles away. Yeah, if that. Yeah. It was beautiful. I mean, it looked like it would be a cool ride from up above but it was even more spectacular. Breathtaking. Yeah, breathtaking, spectacular when you're down on the road, mm -hmm. like submerged into all the rocks and right next to the river. rode for about 45 minutes and then we just turned around in a parking lot took some pictures and went home and ate and ate <laughs> we'll see you on our next adventure bye we're going gates are you is that a push i'm talking to the camera oh. we're going to eat hi little puppy dog we're gonna do our recap now you ready you ready come here Oh, she has some stinky breath. Yeah. We're so good at starting coffee. Blah, 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 blah. Our timing is so off because we were coming from Eastern time. That <laughs> RV just peed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. We walked under the north window, I believe it was the north one, and what else? <laughs> and we were under the arch. And <laughs> Feels like 98. Me, I'm trying to get my story out. Okay, get it out. But I keep getting interrupted. I won't interrupt anymore. Okay.
I bet he does. Promise. I bet he does. <laughs> See? Mm-hmm. And it was, uh, I mean, you know, you know, unless you do, obviously, uh, a, a, Is my hat crooked? Nope. Sure. Yeah, it's good. Because you know my eyes are crooked. Yeah. Okay. Your eyes are crooked, but your hat's still, your hat's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, huh? Oh, stay on trail. Stay on trail. Oh, on the car. Stay on target. Good. Good. How's it going? Watch the video. Oh, did you? Thank <laughs> you. Cool. Thank you. Thanks. The bugs. How you doing? Say again? Are you filming? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's okay. No. <laughs> nope. I didn't like that one. <laughs> that was a blast. The RVP again. <laughs> If you're wondering what that is, it rained last night and slide toppers sometimes hold water and then the wind picks them up and pushes water off. Yeah. And take to, uh, a pop, see? It's awesome. 